What's stopping you? Are you too tired? Didn't get enough sleep? Don't have enough energy? Don't have enough time? Is that what's stopping you right now? Don't have enough money? Is that the thing? Or is the thing that's stopping you, you? Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Get off the pity potty. Telling everybody your sad and sob stories, trying to get people to show up to your pity potties and your pity parades. If you ever see me in a Rolls Royce, a six or seven star hotel, living my life to the fullest, don't get jealous of me. Because I work my ass off to get it. Nobody handed me nothing. Wake your ass up. Awaken the beast inside. It's game on. It's go season. It's time for you to take advantage of the access and the resources that you have in your country and your community. You got a problem with your life. You got a problem with your environment. Do something about it. If you want it, go get it. Recognize the excuses are not valid. They're conjured up, they're fabricated, they're lies. And how do you stop the lies? You stop the lies with the truth. And the truth is, you have time. You have the skill, you have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. The fruit of everything good in life begins with a challenge. Everything is a pill that's worthwhile. And this, it's not going to come to you, and it's not going to fall in your lap, and it's not going to be something that, oh my God, I, it just was so simple. It's always going to be difficult. If you want it, you got to go get it. This is your chance. This is your shot. This is your moment. This is your time. This is your place. This is your opportunity. This is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. It's your dream. If you want to have it, lift your butt up and make it happen. If you want to have it, rise and grind. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. It's grind season, homie. So many people out there fail not because they don't have the ability it's because they don't have the heart to go through adversity the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you'll go through some failures when you're in that darkness you want to sit there and wait for the light to come but you can't wait the only way out is to step forward, to face your fears, to become your own light. There's gonna be a lot of times y'all about to fail. We are all a work in progress. But in that moment, I want you to remember the power of you. You will change the world. Even when you're struggling, even when you're discouraged, and you feel like other people have given up on you, don't ever give up on yourself. The indomitable will, if you have a belief, you can do something. The only way you grow that, like in the gym, you grow your muscles by actually exercising them. To grow the individual will to become something, you must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. They're the only one that moves that needle of life. Every hero you guys had was called an idiot, crazy, a loser. You must break society's status quo. Status quo is normality. It's alive but not living. It's death on a stick, guys. The belief of the individual overrides thousands of people with just intent. Safety, comfort zones are dead zones. You have to continue to push yourself because your true potential will never be matched, guys. Nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits. The future rewards those who press on. 
with patient and firm determination, I'm going to press on. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain. I'm going to press on. Stop complaining. Stop crying. We are going to press on. We've got work to do. What's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is eternal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if nobody has to give you anything, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it, you can be it, you can do it. Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes. Take ownership of your shortfalls. Take ownership of your problems. And then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your mission. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. And lead to victory. It's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you have the vision and never give up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen, and that it's hard, easy is not an option, and when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win. People have this reoccurring nightmare that there's some thing, some force that's got a hold of them and it's holding them down and they can't break free. No matter what they do, they can't break free from that force. Well, I'm here to tell you that that thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. There are two fundamental attitudes toward life and its sorrows. Those with the first attitude blame the world. Those with the second ask what they could do differently. It's much easier and much more gratifying to your basest desires to blame someone else for your misery. You know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. And that's the problem with some of you. You always want to blame other people. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts. No, we working out now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. Every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could humanly expect. I'm not competing with somebody else. I'm competing with what I'm capable of. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. I value myself enough to give 120% or don't do it. There is no excuse for not living up to your fullest potential. No excuse. You walk out of this room, you owe yourself. I didn't get here making excuses. What changed? I changed. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying, I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power, every single day, to become a victor and not a victim. Why? Because I owe it to myself. Can't nobody stop me but me. Sometimes horrible things happen to good people. Life isn't fair, and it can be heart-wrenching. And if you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay. 
it's okay to feel that darkness. When challenges and issues come back to back to back to back and it seems like something is after me, something is attacking me, something is attacking my journey, look for the lesson in it all. You will grow through what you go through. The question is, are you willing to go through it? When those bad things happen, what are you going to do? Are you going to let this horrible situation dictate the way you feel and the way you handle it? Are you going to fall over, fall down, fall apart? Or are you going to face this issue with courage and with resolution? You know darkness, so embrace, embrace that darkness. Don't look away from it, own it. Step up to the challenge, no matter what you face. Start walking, take that step. Every day, no matter what you are facing, get up and start walking and never surrender. And remember that even in the most wretched times, when you face darkness yourself, no matter how bad things get, remember not to stop, remember not to pause, remember not to hesitate, remember to put one foot in front of the other, take that first step and start walking. And we will fight. And in fighting, we will win. And if not the battle, and if not the war, we will win because our spirit, it will never surrender. And that is the ultimate victory, to hold your head high. And even in the face of inescapable defeat, to stand and to fight. That is to win. Don't allow yourself a switch off button. I know there's always an answer. No matter how dark that place may be, there's always a way out. Just gotta keep going. Hold on to that fundamental quality of faith. Have faith that on the other side of your pain is something good. For somebody going through tough times, for somebody struggling just to keep your head above water, you're trying, but things don't seem to be quite working out the way you planned. You thought you'd be in a different place at this season in your life. But you're still suffering. You have no say so in what happens to you. But you have a say so in what you do about it. You have a determining voice into where your life can go. See, life is 10% what happens to you. It's 90% what you do about it. You get a setback. You get thrown off course. You lost your mama. That's dirt. But show me something that has grown into something beautiful that didn't have no dirt on it. You need dirt on you to develop because dirt ain't just dirt. Dirt is fertilizer. Dirt is nutrient. Dirt gives you the strip for your seed to push through. You gotta have dirt on you to push through something. Everything you see that's beautiful starts out as a seed, but that seed got to get dirt on it. You got to have dirt on you to grow into what life got for you. 
The only thing I want from you is that every single day when uncertainty creeps in, I need you to get up and I need you to go heavy on it. In the midst of opposition, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of adversity, when you taste a little bit of blood and something happens that you didn't expect to happen, I need you to go heavy on it. You gotta be willing to go after your stuff. You gotta be willing to go after whatever has got your name on it. Sometimes you gotta fight your way over. Sometimes you gotta fight your way through. Sometimes you gotta look in the mirror and say, listen, I ain't got nobody else to encourage us right now. It's just me and you. But I'm telling you, you're the head and not the tail. And I'm fighting for me or my house or my children or my brothers or my sisters or my husband or my vision or my dream. I'm stand right here and I ain't giving up my children. I'm not giving up my money. No, stand it. You can't keep quitting your whole life. You can't keep backing up and you can't keep fainting. Taking two steps forward and three steps back. After a while, there ought to be something in our lives that we stand through. Sicknesses that you stood through. Struggles that you stood through. Weaknesses that you stood through. Crises that you stood through. Pressures that you stood through. That is where character is developed. That's what defines our destiny. When you are in the middle of transition.